Hi everyone, Rich Kratzer, Lawn Care on My Estate. I just want to make a quick intro video to the video that you're about to watch. And I really encourage you to see the video through the entirety. It's basically me taking the garden and putting it to bed as per se for the winter. I plowed my garden and the only thing I put on my garden throughout the years, and I've probably been gardening for about 12 to 15 years, is two to three tr uh, pickup truckloads of mushroom soil. I use the potting soil from our annual plants that we have through, scattered throughout the uh, front of the house for, in the landscaping. And then I also um, just put some leaves um, on the top and then I turn everything over. You'll see in this video, which is really interesting, I put the plow down to about a depth of 12 inches. And you'll see, you can see from behind me, it's quite dark and it's quite rich. Now, my father doesn't plow his garden. He tills it and he has a top of the line tiller. He's retired. He's out there just about every day in the garden working and tilling. He puts mushroom soil about every year. He puts the same organic matter on that I do. But you'll notice when I go down to his property and, and plow his garden, I'm hitting um, clay within six inches because the tiller's only going down five to six inches. Now, a lot of people say, well, what does that matter? Well, just like your turf and just like when you plant annual plants in a pot, if you're gonna have nice organic matter, loose matter that the plants can grow in, no different than your lawn or your garden, those plants are gonna take advantage of that and you're gonna get a longer, or I should say a, yeah, a longer root growth. And with that, your plant is gonna be less prone to drought conditions, it's gonna be less prone to insect or disease. Now, he has a phenomenal garden, and at the end of this video, I am actually have two still photos of how his garden looks during the summer. It's nothing to take away from his garden, but I want you to look at the two different soil types, and the only thing different is I plow my garden every fall, and this is only the second year that he's plowed his garden within probably 40 to 50 years of owning that property. So. Watch the entire video, leave a comment, and let me know uh, what, you, what you think. Thanks. I bought this plow for the, for the tractor. It's red, it's used, and I think it's an old single bottom plow. I think it was uh, manufactured by Massey Ferguson. And what I'm gonna do over the winter is sand and paint that New Holland blue. And I had to take off the deck, which you can see, and I had to put on the loader to take off the deck. And I need the weight in the front because I'm going to be plowing. But what I'll show you is the process of taking that, putting that loader on and taking that deck off. on now let's get the deck off so what I have to do now is decks in the lower position I got to disconnect the three-point hitch from the spring assist kit disconnect the drive shaft pull the four pins out two on each side that hold the spring assist kit and raise and lower the deck and uh, then we'll 
bring the uh, the um, bring assist kit up. We're actually going to lift the tractor up by the front end loader, and then I'm going to wrestle about 550 pounds. So, with that said, I guess wish me good luck. <laughs> I'm now down at my parents plowing their garden, and around the edges the soil does look quite dark, but towards the center I'm already hitting clay after only plowing six inches deep.
So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I got still a lot of yard work to do, so I'm gonna end this video. But we did get the garden started for next year. And I just wanted to say thank you for everyone for watching. If you, like I always say, if you like the video, subscribe, hit like, or even if you just found it entertaining. Send me some comments, send me a little encouragement, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.